Yanina Miller San Miguel, born November 14, 1990, is a Filipino beauty queen who was crowned Binibining Pilipinas World at the Binibining Pilipinas 2008 beauty pageant. She gained notoriety for her performance in the pageant's question and answer portion, where she lost her composure and gave an unfocused and rambling response with a thick accent. A video of the incident has garnered millions of views on websites such as YouTube. San Miguel resigned from her title in September 2008, citing personal reasons including the death of her grandfather. The title was transferred to first runner-up Danielle Castaño, who went on to represent the country at the Miss World 2008 pageant. Background Yanina San Miguel came from a poor family living in a residential compound in Quezon City, Metro Manila. She is the eldest of three children, with her father working as a jeepney driver and her mother as a laundry washer or lavandera, hired to wash other people's clothes. At the time of the Binibining Pilipinas 2008 pageant, San Miguel was a freshman student taking up broadcast communication at the University of the East in Manila, with the ambition of becoming a professional broadcaster. She had previously garnered first runner-up at her school's Mr. and Miss UE pageant, and said she joined the Binibining Pilipinas competition to gain experiences, new friends and opportunities. Binibining Pilipinas The 2008 Binibining Pilipinas pageant was held on March 8, 2008 at the Araneta Coliseum in Quezon City, Metro Manila. At 17 years old, Yanina San Miguel was the youngest contestant of the 24 women in the competition, as well as one of the tallest at 5 feet 11 in 180 centimeters. Early in the competition, San Miguel had won special awards for best in swimsuit and best in long gown. Question and answer is part of the question and answer portion of the pageant. Candidates were made to randomly select the name of their questioner judge out of a fishbowl. The name that San Miguel picked was that of Vivian Tan, who asked, What role did your family play for you as candidate to Binibining Pilipinas? San Miguel responded, as San Miguel lost her composure in giving her answer, the audience reacted with jeers and applause, as well as laughter from the panel of judges and other contestants. Midway through her answer, pageant host Paolo Badiones encouraged her off microphone to continue in Tagalog, though she proceeded with her response in English. Despite the problems with her answer, she went on to win the competition and was crowned Binibining Pilipinas World. The criteria for judging the winner of the pageant allotted 80% to physical beauty, leaving just 20% to be divided evenly between personality and intelligence. Badiones later defended San Miguel, saying, I admire her for not buckling under the pressure and for being as blatantly honest as possible. However, he also added, no matter how badly she may have performed in the Q&A, she couldn't have lost much considering she had a huge head start in the scores. Winning the title made her the official designated Philippine delegate to the Miss World 2008 pageant, which was scheduled to be held later that year in Kiev, Ukraine. The venue was later moved to Johannesburg, South Africa due to the conflict between Georgia and Russia. San Miguel has admitted to being offended by criticism of her response. In an interview with entertainment commentator Ricky Lowe a week after the event, she explained that she did not comprehend the question clearly when she was on stage at the pageant, due to the softness of the questioner's voice. When given another opportunity to answer the same question, she smiled and said, My family is my inspiration. Reaction Video clips of her response have been uploaded to YouTube and garnered over 3 million views. Representative Eduardo Gulas, a senior lawmaker in the Philippine House of Representatives who authored a bill to reinstate English as the medium of instruction in schools, said the video of the incident was tormenting to watch, and added, She is a Filipino, and English is our highly favored second language. So people expected more from her. Following the incident, the director of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority offered to coordinate with pageant organizers to conduct English courses for all Miss Philippines candidates to better express themselves. San Miguel's response has drawn comparisons between her and Melanie Marquez, Filipina winner of the 1979 Miss International pageant who is well known for her shortcomings in speaking English. Resignation it was announced on September 30, 2008 that Yanina San Miguel had resigned her position of Binibining Pilipinas World. A short official statement released by Binibining Pilipinas Charities said, 
The untimely demise of her grandfather, among other personal reasons, has caused her undue stress, thus hindering her from fulfilling her duties for the said title. Her resignation came six and a half months after winning the title, and just two and a half months before the scheduled Miss World pageant. The announcement of her resignation was met with speculation that San Miguel had been forced by Binibining Pilipinas pageant organizers to relinquish her title due to a lack of professionalism during preparatory training sessions, which strained the patience of her mentors and superiors. In a later interview, she admitted that due to multiple conflicts in schedule she was unable to attend all the training sessions arranged for her by pageant organizers, which included sessions to improve her speaking ability. She also admitted to throwing a fit in the middle of a rehearsal when she received news that her grandfather was dying, and demanded that she be allowed to leave. In accordance with pageant rules, San Miguel's title was automatically transferred to the first runner-up, Danielle Castaño. Castaño represented the Philippines at the Miss World 2008 pageant held in Johannesburg, South Africa in December 2008, where she placed as a finalist in the Miss World Beach Beauty Fast Track event and a semi-finalist in the Miss World Top Model Fast Track event. Entertainment career San Miguel was strongly considered for a role as a contestant in the second season of the reality television series Survivor Philippines, which began filming in May 2009. Though one of the show's criteria is that the contestants must not be celebrities, San Miguel was not regarded to be a celebrity by the show. As producers, show host Paolo Badiones, who incidentally also hosted the Binibining Pilipinas pageant, explained in an interview that she was a shoe in for the part, but decided to back out at the last minute. In August 2009, San Miguel became a contestant in the third season of Celebrity Duets, Philippine Edition. In the season's first three episodes, she performed duets with Maureen Larazabal, Bichuan Escalante, and Paolo Ballesteros. However, she garnered the lowest number of text votes in the first round of eliminations, and became the first contestant voted off of the show on September 12, 2009. San Miguel has stated that she is refraining from focusing full-time on her entertainment career due to her ongoing studies, though she continues to work on her figure in preparation for modeling opportunities. On October 23, 2009, she was one of the ten finalists in the Philippine qualifying round of the Ford Models Supermodel of the World Modeling Contest, which was held at the SMX Convention Center in Pasay. She advanced to the top three, but the contest was won by Charlene Almarvez, who went on to win first runner-up to Carlina Khan of the Baltics in the Supermodel of the World Finals held in Sao Paulo, Brazil. References External links Binibining Pilipinas official website YouTube, Yanina San Miguel, B-flat. Pilipinas 2008 Q&A, complete.